My name is Niall Simpson. I studied the Master of Science in Disaster Management and Sustainable Development and I now work in resilience uh, at Leicestershire County Council. So I was personally involved in a flooding incident when I was about 15 years old and that sort of inspired me to move towards a more uh, geography focused degree and as part of that then I chose to do an undergraduate here at Northumbria University. And the programme really appealed to me just because they had a real international sort of focus on geography and I know there's a lot of opportunities to go out to field trips and to get involved with many sort of disciplines across uh, human geography as part of the undergraduate degree. And as part of the undergraduate degree I studied a module called development and disasters and that really sort of along with being personally involved within a flood and incident sort of created a, an inspiration or ambition to get involved within that uh, field of work and then that led me on to the masters here at Northumbria to do disaster management and sustainable development just because I thought that really uh, lined up with my personal goals in life to uh, you know, sort of help people involved in incidents such as that but also to gain that stronger academic experience. I received the Vice Chancellor's Scholarship and um, I applied for that after finishing my undergraduate degree obviously with the anticipation of studying a Master's at Northumbria University and that really made a difference to me because it meant that I didn't then have to take out as big of a loan and that was a really big thing for me. Do I want to spend another year spending a lot more money on education to get to maybe not get anything out of it. I didn't, I didn't know that at the time. Obviously, it, looking back now, it was the best thing I ever did. And that scholarship really helped. I didn't have to work part-time whilst having to study, which meant then I could end up and look at a distinction in my master's. And I think it would it, that was down to that because of the amount of more time I had to dedicate to the course. I'm a resilience officer, so that's, resilience is the buzzword, I guess, in the, in the emergency planning industry. Essentially, that what I, my role is as an emergency planner. So day to day, I help to try and uh, plan and prepare for different emergencies across Leicester, Leicestershire and Rutland and helping uh, to have a coordinated approach to responding to those incidents, but then also looking at how you might want to recover from these incidents uh, once you once it's all said and done. And you've got now, for example, like Grenfell, you've got a physical structure there um, that now what do you do with the community moving forward? How do you help them to return to some form of normality if that does exist? Um, and to, to support people throughout the entire process and that's what we work every day to do. The modules themselves really when you work in the when you go into the workplace you really do see how that linked into what I do day to day. All the modules, all the, the learning from the guest speakers, from the lecturers themselves, it really prepares you for what to expect in that working role. Of course you're going to learn a lot more about the local context in which you're working at the time. But I think the international feel of the course itself was fantastic because it prepared you to go and work like I now work for a worldwide contract worker and I think that in the international aspect of that course if that was missing then I wouldn't have been prepared or wouldn't have got through to the interview process for that job um, you know, and then being able to carry out this different work that I do now. A great way for me to keep involved in the academic world after now being an alumni student and not being as, you know, not studying and not being involved in that world anymore is through the Disaster and Development Network. They still obviously are a running organisation all the time, but, you know, new cohort students come in every year and keep that running, updating that with relevant information from the academic world. And that's how I keep up to date with, you know, the new stuff coming out in theory through uh, academics. And then also the different work that Northumbria University is still getting involved in and that I could either support or directly get involved in. I was fortunate enough to be asked, by, asked back by one of the lecturers to come and do a presentation and a tabletop exercise for the new cohort this year. From my perspective it was fantastic because I could you know, see in them what I was last year and I could try and influence everything that I've learned over the past year onto them but then also get a lot back from them. Uh, I thought this year's cohort were so much more engaged and developed than what we were and it's fantastic to see that very happy to be able to come back and do a talk for the court and uh, you know pass what i've learned onto them but also gain a lot from them and from networking with the new lecturers that are here as well at the university now living away from newcastle and thinking about what we're all reflecting on what i miss about the city it's a lot about the social aspects of the city i think the city is a fantastic place it hosts loads of events throughout the year different types of events for different people constantly always um on a weekend, if you want to find something to do, there's no issues in doing that. You can find that in the city centre within the Thumbland and the, the surrounding areas uh, up here in the northeast.